This year, the iconic New York City Times Square Ball will look a little bit different. It's going to be tie-dyed and packed with thousands of bow tie crystals. It's modeled after the same shape of Times Square's cross streets. But some more fun facts about the crystal ball. It's 12 feet in diameter, it weighs nearly 12,000 pounds, and it costs more than 1 million bucks. How many crystals are on that thing? 2,688. And it takes 588 LED light bulbs to power up the 2024 numerals as Frank Sinatra's theme from New York, New York blares from the sound system at the strike of midnight. So, who doesn't love the chairman of the board? Old Blue Eyes is my all-time favorite musical artist, and I first became a fan watching Dick Clark bring in each New Year as a kid at my grandmother's house in Delco's Drexel's Hill, watching it, of course, on an analog television. This year, 82-year-old Paul Anka will perform an updated version of another Sinatra staple, My Way. Anka is the English lyricist who wrote the words for the voice on that Sinatra staple. But first things first, why do we even watch a giant ball drop? Well, back in the 1800s, an impact of income inequality and the wealth gap meant that only rich people could afford clocks and watches. Everybody else had to rely on public sundials. But with each of us living on our own speck of this pale blue dot, one person's noon was another person's quarter till. Then the Brits built a time ball above the National Observatory in London that drops every day, still to this day, at 1 p.m. That way, everybody could sync their sundials, so leave it to the crowd to keep us organized. In 1907, the first ball dropped in Times Square, and it's dropped every year since, except during the World War II dimouts of 1942 and 43, when global conflict put a beloved tradition on pause. The technology revolution put time ball operators out of a job, but created a whole new industry of clock and watchmakers. And while time balls are a thing of the past, global conflict, economic inequality, and technological revolutions are still some of the biggest stories on the planet. Just something to think about when the ball drops and Sinatra sings and we each prepare to meet the future. Happy holidays and happy new year. That's it for today's daily debrief. My name is Kevin Cirilli. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to The Hill's YouTube channel. And come on back here soon for the intersection between politics and policy.